Hi guys, welcome to the Old Boys Bench. Before we go any further with this setup, we're just doing a uh, little comparison against a uh, stock standard household fan. This is supposed to be one of the uh, high energy efficient U-Butte jobs. And it is quite energy efficient, I must admit. It's 5 star rated, which means it must be somewhere between 86 and 89% efficient in converting electrical to mechanical energy as far as this fan goes. Um, other things like uh, washing machines, fridges, all that, all rated pretty much the same. Um, the efficiency is the electrical energy to the other required energy conversion. And, um, this one comes in between 86 and 89 percent efficient. Up here I've put it down as 86 so we'll go to the lowest efficiency that it is rated for. These are just the Australian standards I'm not sure how it works in other countries uh, but we have this star system and the more stars the more efficient. So we're going to um, use the same fan that we had on here, uh, which I just machined up a small bush and put it on there on the shaft, screwed the nut back on the hole in place. We'll run this thing flat out and we'll get a reading of our watts, which of course at the moment is zero, and also a reading of our RPM. We'll then fill in those two spaces up there. We'll then switch the camera off, remove this fan, bash it back onto this shaft because it's a press fit. We will then go through and do the modified uh, motor readings. What I've done here is I've just used an L bridge and we're returning the power from the coil back into the motor and I have a small tape microphone cap on there just to um, capture some of the high voltage converted into current. So like I said, just a simple L bridge, uh, that way we can um, send the current from the coil back into the motor without the current from the transformer going into the coil. Uh, so that's about it. So we're going to turn this one on flat out, which is that top button there. As you can see, it's only pulling about 36, 36.2 watts, which is pretty good. It is a smaller fan, uh, but even with the larger fan on, it's only about 41 to 43 watts going flat out. So not too bad. Definitely an efficient uh, setup. Now the motor may look big, but that's mostly plastic inside there. The motor's fairly small, and about half the size of that. Our RPM on this at the moment is I don't know, lots of motor, 1342, 39, 40, we'll say 1340, we'll go to the high side. So, um, that's what we have. We can drive that fan at 1340 RPMs for, we'll say, 36 watts. So that's not real bad. And like I've said, even with a bigger fan, it's only maybe 6 to 8 watts more. Uh, that's about all we've got to do on that one. Very simple. We're simply measuring the watts taken to run that fan at that RPM. So now I'll switch off the camera, take that off of there, bash it back onto there, and we'll fire this one up and see what the results are. Okay, so we've got the fan hooked back on the monster. Uh, we have our amp gauge, our volt gauge, and of course, 
our watt meter, which, there we go, we're 17.1, 17.2 watts, is what the transformer is using at idle. We are going to take note of that, and we'll call it 17. Okay, so now we're going to start up our motor. Notice it's going a little bit quicker. I do only have the one coil still in there operating. Um, I just want to see if we're going in the right direction first. So, here's what we have so far. Voltage is 21 point 88, 89. As you see, the power does fluctuate down here in the ship. We're going to call it 21.88 for our volts, our amps now. You will notice they've dropped down considerably. Now that we're feeding the uh, power from the coil back into the motor. And um, one point zero seven five. Go for the peak. 0.75 That gives us a wattage of Cut the old iPhone Twenty one point eight eight volts times our amps which is one point zero seven five twenty three point five two one 23.521 that is our watt consumption as far as our meters are concerned ok our watt meter here says 43.4 goes down here Now let's take away the idle from the loaded watts on the transformer. It's not going to be exactly right, but we'll give us some idea as to how close this amount here is. Um, So the transformer may be becoming a little more inefficient under load. Maybe 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 a little bit out. My first guess is that it would be the transformer. Becoming a little bit less efficient when it's loaded. As these meters here. So the voltage goes, that's what the scope shows. However, for argument's sake, we go on that what is there. But now we need an RPM to see what we're getting for our 26.4 watts. That is pretty close to the fan on Okay. Go 2055 the lower. 2055. Now, I don't know if anyone's any good at mathematics. I don't know enough to get by, but uh, I'm not even sure if we can work the efficiency of this to motor out with all this rubbish. So, for 36 watts, we can spin that fan at 
1340 RPM with a standard motor that is supposed to be 86% efficient at the very least. For 26.4 watts on our modified motor, we can spin that fan at 2055 RPM. So, um, to take our 36 watts, we subtract our uh, 26. Four. Our motor is using 9.6, the standard fan motor is using 9.6 watts more, and the RPM, uh, which is about 2055, on to 1340. The RPM difference, 715. So our well, UB86% efficient motor uses 9.6 watts more, spins the fan 715 RPM slower. So that's what we have at the moment. As I said, I expect the efficiency to go up even higher once you get the second coil on. I may leave this coil rigged up as it is because it certainly got the amp draw down on the motor. And the second coil I may use as a power output. Now keep in mind we're not going to get anywhere near the power out of that coil as to what we're putting in. The rest of the power is of course in our rotational. Force. Just like I said in the end, we'll be driving a little generator. A little generator will have to do something like that. Keeping in mind when we load the generator up, of course, this is going to go up as well. So we have to see if we can balance the system out. That's what we have. So, um, Definitely doing quite well, I think. Uh, we'll keep on going and see where we end up. Cheers.